Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of JournalistToolbox.ai, the website you see on your screen right now. Uh, we post all kinds of links and tools and resources, uh, many of them free, some of them paid uh, uh, to uh, the site. Uh, and these are tools uh, that are useful for journalists uh, that are AI-driven tools. Uh, it includes things like ethics issues, uh, writing and editing tools, browser extensions, data tools, and what we're going to explore today, image creation, um, text-to-image tools such as Adobe Firefly and MidJourney, which is going to be our focus today. Uh, uh, Microsoft Bing has their image creator. Uh, we have training videos up here as well. Uh, we have a newsletter over here that you can subscribe to for free. The training videos are free. Uh, so take advantage uh, of this website. It's got a lot of really good tools on it. Uh, the worksheet we're going to work off of today uh, is this one. You may have used it on some of our other uh, trainings before. Uh, and the handout, you can access the link uh, right here. I'll make it a little bigger so you can see it. Bitly slash toolbox AI. So you might want to just hit the pause button right now and take a couple of minutes uh, to uh, set this up. Uh, and also set up uh, an account on discord.com, it's D-I-S-C-O-R-D.com, discord.com. Set that up first, free account. And then you can set up a, an account at midjourney.com. And when you set up the midjourney.com account, you can link it to your Discord. So you'll do all your design work in Discord, and it will link through mid to midjourney. And then when you log into Midjourney, you can use your uh, uh, di Discord credentials. It'll ask you to connect it uh, and you'll be able to set it up. Midjourney is where you'll store all of your images that you create. So uh, this is kind of a working one that I've got. So go ahead and hit the pause button and uh, make sure you've got this handout open and scroll down to page nine and then set up Discord and set up Midjourney. All right, welcome back everybody. By now you should have this handout open uh, and you'll wanna scroll down to the middle of page nine, uh, which is uh, uh, where we have uh, all of the uh, exercises uh, for uh, uh, Midjourney. Um, it's right here, uh, Midjourney's right here. Uh, and it's got a little background about Midjourney and then these various prompts that you can take and use. Um, uh, before we dig into those uh, and start using them in Discord and Midjourney, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some ethical issues with uh, using uh, 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 image to, to uh, text to image tools or you know image to video tools, any of those. Um, uh, and that's making sure that your audience is aware uh, that you have used uh, AI to generate the image. This is a great magazine cover that main. Uh, biz, uh, did uh, in the summer of 2023. Um, uh, Jimmy Stewart, uh, kind of a modern version of Jimmy Stewart uh, from uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, and it's uh, about the bank runs. Uh, and, uh, you know, we were having a lot of bank uh, closings at the time. Uh, and uh, they used AI to generate this. They used Midjourney and some other tools uh, to generate this. Um, and they actually put a little note, editor's note, uh, inside the, the front uh, uh, magazine cover uh, to identify the fact that this was generated with AI and, and what tools they use, too. I think that's a really good uh, uh, thing uh, for transparency. Um, SPJ, NPPA, PRSA, TrustingNews.org all have uh, guidelines and best practices for handling uh, uh, images generated by AI. Um, uh, I suggest that your newsroom uh, develop a policy on it uh, and have that in place uh, so people know what to do with it uh, when they're uh, identifying it. Um, uh, Adobe Firefly uh, actually has a, a little uh, uh, disclaimer uh, in their images, in their metadata, and it uh, identifies it here in the software. Uh, AI-generated Adobe, Adobe Firefly images include content credentials that explain how it was built, um, which is really good. Um, and uh, it's built with uh, Adobe stock images, Adobe Firefly uh, images, uh, which are all rights free. So you don't have to worry about violating any copyright law or stealing anyone's work. Um, so those are just a couple of uh, concerns, you know, you should have uh, when, whenever you're working with these tools. Um, so the mid-journey exercise is down here in the middle of page nine. 
Um, I've got a little background on it, U.S. Copyright Office. Uh, uh, if you, you know, generate uh, a, an image using AI and you've written the prompt for it, uh, you, you own the rights to it. Uh, that's the basic uh, interpretation right now, uh, legally, of what you uh, what you have with these tools. Um, and uh, if it's entirely AI generated, uh, then basically it's uh, you know, anybody's ballgame is considered, uh, you know, the U.S. Copyright Office says it's basically uh, an image that belongs, uh, you know, uh, fair use. Um, so uh, there's no real prompt there. Uh, unless you've written a prompt, uh, it doesn't really have any uh, 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 use uh, or any uh, rights holder to it. Um, uh, to use, uh, to develop an image in Discord and MidJourney, uh, you have to use slash imagine. And this is what uh, prompts uh, the software to generate the image. Um, V5, uh, which is a little uh, extension, tells you to use version 5. Um, you may see this AR from time to time. AR stands for uh, aspect ratio. So two to three, it's two wide, three deep. Um, aspect ratios, you know, you often use those if you're developing a banner for your website or something like that. A lot of the banners on journalist toolbox uh, dot AI, I use uh, AI uh, generated images with uh, this page here. Uh, the image creation page. I have a few others, Law and Ethics, this image I created in uh, uh, MidJourney. Um, so there's many others, you know, that I have in here to kind of sprinkle throughout the site. Uh, so it's good for, you know, developing, you know, uh, images like that or, you know, a photo illustration type image. And you should always, you know, uh, describe it as a uh, uh, is a, an illustration, a photo illustration. Um, so I'm going to work with this prompt here, and I'll blow this up a little bit so you can see it just a little bit better. Um, I'm going to tell it to imagine a breakfast bowl with whole grain and fresh strawberries. I want it to be ultra realistic, meaning I want it to look like it's real. Aspect ratio is two to three, so it's got a, a width of two, height of three. And I'll have it use version five, which at the time I'm doing this, uh, it's the most current version of uh, of uh, uh, Mid journey. Um, so I'm going to just copy this prompt. And I've got dozens of them in here on all kinds of different things. We'll get into some of these a little more detailed uh, in a minute. And I'm going to go to Discord uh, and you just uh, drop that in here. You can paste it in or you can type it in if you want. Um, and ultra realistic. I'll make it one word. I think it's uh, uh, looking for a, a single word here now. And I'll hit return. And you have to wait for a minute for it to generate it. Uh, here's one that I generated earlier. It's the same uh, prompt. Um, and uh, it gives you different versions uh, of it. You can do version four, three, two, one, and go with a simpler one. Or you can upscale it. The upscales are, you know, one, two, three, four. Uh, upscaling allows you to uh, generate a, a little more detailed version of the image. And it's upscaling this one here. It's kicking in. And, uh, then I can zoom in or zoom out. It gives you zoom capabilities now, which is fantastic. I'll zoom in uh, a little bit more with it. Uh, and then I can send it to the web here. And boom, it's leaving Discord. And then it says visit site, which will send me over to MidJourney. And it will show up in my MidJourney account right here. And then I can download it. I can save it. I can download it. Um, you know, and this is a very high res photo of a breakfast bowl. This is really helpful for food journalists who may not have studios anymore to, you know, uh, generate an image for their uh, recipe or whatever. Uh, this is a really good one. It's It's got related ones. Some of these are ones I've created. These are, these are uh, other ones that other people have created as well. Um, anytime you move something over to MidJourney, uh, it is searchable. Other people can see it. These are some of the images I've created in the past, uh, you know, Cars, The Mandalorian, had this one of Trump running from the cops. Um, uh, there are a lot of uh, images that are generated in here that people are using as news photos. Um, uh, if you're going to fact check these photos, um, always look for images like this one of Trump. It's, he's got six fingers um, or his ear are oddly shaped or, you know, his tan is just a little bit off. His eyes are a little too blue. Um, also the mouth, often missing teeth. Um, those are some of the flaws uh, that uh, AI has in generating humans uh, and uh, 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 images of humans. So, uh, you know, you can go in and, and pick out some of these things if you know what to look for when you're fact checking an image. I always go in and zoom in and look very closely at them. And some of these others are little uh, images I've generated as headers for 
uh, my various graphics and things for my website, you know. So this one, I think you've seen some of these others I've used for the mobile pages and things like that. Um, but, you know, my breakfast bowls here, I can take it and download it as a JPEG and, and take it and move it into uh, another piece of software. Uh, and we'll see here, oh, my breakfast bowl finally uh, has, has uh, uh, been generated here. It takes a little while for it to generate. It depends on how busy MidJourney is and Discord are. Um, so, you know, I can uh, take a look at number four, take a look at the whole set here. Let's say I want to upscale, you know, number four, and I'll zoom in maybe a little bit with it once it upscales here. It gives you the prompt down here. So. I can zoom out, uh, you know, zoom back in with it, move it up, move it down. Uh, I can also use some more prompts to modify this as well. And uh, some of those prompts you can find uh, on my handout. Uh, as you scroll down here, I've got more detailed things. You can shorten things, uh, making uh, making a little smaller image. Um, you can shorten an image. Um, there's also other AR functions that you can use, you know, uh, four to one for ratio for a banner. Um, here's some other prompts. You can actually have uh, movie prompts in here. An action scene of Top Gun of an F4 fighter plane. Uh, uh, here's my aspect ratio. Let's do this one. We'll have a little fun with it. Um, yeah, and and ha have it be a shot with a DJI Phantom 4, 4 uh, drone camera. You know, this is a pretty detailed prompt. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Something a little more detailed. And I've got dozens of others in here that you can deal with, uh, uh, play with. Um, and uh, see how it turns out um as that prompts uh going to work you know it's uh, waiting right now um i'm going to mention too there's alternatives to mid journey i mentioned uh, adobe firefly earlier dolly playground diffusion art um leonardo uh being image creator um many others uh that are out there uh, i'm always a little uh, uh you know the diffusion stable diffusion tools uh they have a lawsuit against them right now uh, from Getty Images that claims that they're using some of their images to program their tools. So uh, I'm steer away from, from some of these, but uh, you know, there's some uh, other tools out there. I really do like Midjourney though, for the quality uh, that it generates and the amount of control I have with all of these uh, prompts. Um, as you scroll down our handout here, we've got others, natural lighting, reflections that you can work into your prompts. Um, if you want strobe lights, you know, Rembrandt lighting, soft lighting, all kinds of different things in here. Uh, that you can just mix in with your different prompts. Camera angles. Do I want an eye level or a low angle shot with a certain type of camera and lens? I've got several of these in here. Um, they're all over the internet. You can find these. Um, a lot of times when people uh, tweet these, they'll have alt text uh, with their images. You can open it up and read the prompts on them. So if you ever see on Twitter or uh, uh, Facebook or something, it'll say ALT. Click on that and it'll give you the prompt that was used to generate that image. Um, there's some other light, lighting ones down here, hazy, time of day, sunrise, sunset, um, which I've used some with my uh, automobile one, images I generate. You can also have some fun with, uh, you know, various movie uh, producers and directors, uh, a woman in front of her house and a scene from a movie directed by Steven Spielberg, you know, and they're kind of, I've got these kind of grouped into these little uh, uh, topics here, if you're looking for comedy, drama, or action, fantasy, sci-fi movies, things like that. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with them. So I've got all kinds of different prompts down here. Uh, you know, just take some time to to play with them. Um, and that's one of the best ways to uh, to learn mid-journey is to to just start making some random images, you know, just with fun th things that you like. And then start thinking about, well, how can I take and use this journalistically, you know, like with a breakfast bowl or something like that. Um, so there's all kinds of, uh, you know, different things in here uh, for creating banners, you know, abstract art. Deco banner, primary gold color. You know, you can swap swap colors in and out, backgrounds, things like that. Um, this is one uh, you know I've, I, I've done before of a, a, a BMW M340i at sunset and on a beach. You know, you can really get detailed. Uh, uh, you know, with what you want. Um, you can also do cutaways with it. I've done that with cards. You can also do it with the Great Pyramids. Uh, do little cutaways and, and it'll give you a stock image then of, you know, a little cutaway of the car with arrows pointing to it. Then you can go into Photoshop and, and add things into it. Let's see if Discord's given me anything yet with my battle scene in Top Gun. Nothing yet. Must still be working away. I'll give it another prompt here. Sometimes it gets a little feisty. Um, I'll do the Great Pyramids. Cut out hyper-realistic. Let's see if it'll take this one. 
does take a little while, especially if you're you're waiting for them uh, to uh, kick in. You know, there might be a little bit of a line waiting for these uh, uh, to to activate. Um, you know, it depends again how mid, busy mid journey and and all these are. So those are just sitting there percolating. Um, so again, mid journey and Discord work well together. Um, set up your Discord account first, then set up mid journey, and it'll ask you to connect to your Discord. You just give your Discord uh, uh, login credentials. You can see it down here in the lower left, M Riley eight eight zero nine eight, which is my Discord uh, login. It'll connect me uh, directly to my mid journey, uh, and I can generate my images. Um, and they're all stored here. This is your nice home page. In, in mid journey uh, and you can see you know all your images generated here um, you can go through and open them back up and upscale them edit them um, it shows you how long ago you created it um, and it's easy download you know you just uh, you know click on these three buttons here uh, and you can open it uh, copy it um, use it uh, in different formats uh, favorite it save image and then download it um, so it works really well that way uh, so this is MidJourney. Um, you know, take some time to experiment with it. Uh, I do have many other tools on the uh, image creation page on Journals Toolbox AI. I do have another training video that's specific to uh, Adobe Firefly uh, that you can find on the image creation page right up here at the top. Uh, this training video will appear a little lower on the page. Um, but take advantage of these tools. Many of them are free. There is a paid version of MidJourney that I upgrade to that's, I think, 10 bucks. Uh, that allows me to do a few more things with it, gives me a little more storage. Um, so take advantage of these tools and uh, create cool things with them. But remember the ethics. Remember to tell your reader that it's uh, AI generated, uh, that it's a photo illustration. And I even tell them what tool that I use to generate it with. Best of luck to you. Take care.